out of nowhere when the setback comes up. When the, when the out of nowhere appears. When the I didn't see that coming comes. Here is, here is what you have to do. Here is the thing that I have been teaching myself for years that I used to not always understand. So I'm trying to give it to you. You have to be encouraged anyway. Now that's difficult. Okay, Steve, what you talking about? You just told me all this discouraging stuff that can happen. And you said you got to be encouraged anyway. Yeah, man, you have to. Because what's happening to you right now, the thing that you're going through right now, the thing that everybody's going through right now. Ain't nobody on smooth sailing, man. Everybody got something. And if they if they on smooth sailing, just know this is coming. There's nothing I'm wishing on anybody. It's just that this is life. This is how it happens, everybody. So please stop stop getting on the old oh, woe is me bandwagon. Oh Lord, why me? Oh Lord, something always happened to me. Something always happens to everybody. But here's what you got to do when you get in moments like this. You got to be encouraged. You got to remember in those times, in those times when it's going wrong, you got to remember all that you've been through. You got to remember all that you've come through. You have to remember those other times when you felt like this and somehow unexplainably you don't even really stop to say nothing about it. It just changed for you. And the problem that was is no more. And the situation that seemed so insurmountable, you got over it. You got around it. You got over it. Sometimes you just got to slide right under it. Sometimes you got to plow through it. But in those times, when it's discouraging for you, when you feel like giving up, those are the tests. Those are the moments that will determine whether we make it or not. I'll tell you one thing for sure. If you give up in these moments right here, here is a for sure, you'll never make it. That's, 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 that's unquestionably the deal. If you give up in these dark times, if you give up in these what you think is insurmountable moments, if you turn back now, here is the 1,000% for sure, you ain't going to make it. But there is a bright side to the situation. If you keep your head down, if you keep forging, if you keep pressing on, sometimes if you just stand there and sometimes get knocked to your knees, but if you stay in that place, if you just stay there and ride the storm out, my head is bloody but unbowed. If you can just stay there, if you can sit in that moment and ride it out, you will win. You will pass the test and you will get to move on to the next level. But there is no next level without a test. You can't get to grade six without passing grade five. You can't be a senior without first being a junior. You can't graduate without fulfilling the hours and requirements. You see, I don't care what you do in life. Look at it. It's all set up on levels where you've got to accomplish the thing before in order to get to the next level. And when you've made those level accomplishments, you get to graduate. And you can go on and get a master's and a PhD. You can go on and become rich. You can go become wealthy. Or you can go, or you can go somewhere and think yourself in another set of circumstances. But you gotta go through something to get to something. There ain't nothing free. So you can stop that notion about being successful. That is easy. Come on, man, if it was easy, what, 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 we all, what are we talking about? It is not easy. Stop thinking it is. It is difficult. But I'll tell you what's even more difficult than becoming successful. You want to know what that is? Try not being successful your whole life. That's hard.
you are listening to a person who has done the most, been successful, and really, really been not successful. And I got news for you. Both of them are hard. But I would rather deal with what it is to be something, to make something out of myself, to force myself to go to work when I don't feel like it. This morning was a rough get up for me. But I got up and I said, thank you anyway. Never give up. And I don't watch this dude to eat a mess around and got close to me because he just never gave up. You can, you can never, ever give up. Never. It's not an option. Giving up cannot be an option for you. You cannot do that. You, it's, it's out of the question. It's inconceivable in your mind to quit. Because to quit is to what? What you get when you quit? Nothing. There is a reward for those who hang in there, who never give up, who forge through, who see it through, who get knocked down and get back up, who gets trampled but somehow gathers themselves and get back to your knees. But stay in that place, man. Don't ever give up. Don't let go. Be encouraged. Think of all you've been through. Think of all you've come through. Think of all he's done for you. Think of all the times you thought you wasn't going to make it, but somehow, without you ever even saying thank you, he got through. He got you through it anyway. That's that thing called grace now. We kind of need that in our life. I, I, all, I, all I need is a little more grace. You can't give God no money for grace, man. Grace is absolutely free. It's available to everybody. But you can't get none if you quit. Don't give up. I'll just tell you that flat out. Don't ever give up. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Happy Monday, everybody. I love listening to Steve Harvey. Um, he's such a motivational person. And one thing I like about him, he speaks the truth. Um, I thank God, too, because getting up, going to work, trying to dream, trying to have goals, it's hard to keep going. And giving up isn't an option. So I thank God for strength. And I pray for strength every day because it is hard. Um, it's hard just being positive. It's hard being a mom. You know, being a mom, you don't know what, what cards you're going to be dealt with. But you have to stay strong, pray, continue to work hard, continue just to be positive. Happy Monday, y'all. I pray everybody has a great week.